Shoot one. Jamal Myers here with Max Seidel after an amazing match with uh, Ricochet at WCW in Manchester. I mean, how was it drawing off that crowd? Uh, tonight was, it was awesome. I got the opportunity to... The beautiful thing about wrestling is I got to stand across the room from a world-class wrestler and the match we made is so dependent on this crowd. And tonight I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to steal the show, but you better believe Ricochet and I went out and did just that. And it had a lot to do with this crowd, that energy feed me in, and I just lose my mind and go nuts. Do you feel like in the, in the independent scene you have a lot more flexibility in terms of telling the story with in-ring psychology and moves rather than telling it in terms of your character? Uh, well, I feel like I, you know, if I have the opportunity to be real, to be genuine, to express myself, to make my art in the ring and leave it there um, without anybody else's opinion. I go out and I get to create what I want. That that maps my canvas. I can't draw. I don't have any fine motor skills. But you better believe when I'm doing that shoot star press, I see nothing but art. And so when I'm finished with it, it's just like an artist finished with a painting. You know, you, you, it, it is what it is. You just have to leave it, leave it out there in the ring. You just leave it for everybody to witness. And I hope everybody enjoyed it. And judging by the reaction at the end of that match, I think everybody had a damn good time. It was, a, it was an awesome match for me as a wrestling fan. It's a dream match that's come to fruition. Do you feel like the independent scene, the fan base is a lot, obviously a lot more passionate than the major corporations such as WWE. Do you enjoy that? I mean, I mean for me, it's, I, I enjoy it all. There's not, I can't, I can't really pick out one thing because for me, I'm a performer. But when I go to shows, when I go to watch an event, I like to go to the smaller shows. I want to be right up close. I want to see the sweat. I want to vicariously feel everything. And when you see that guy get chopped, I mean, it's <laughs> there. It's there. It's live. It's yeah. in your face. And it's undeniable. It's obviously still there. You're, you're there watching as a fan after your matches. Do you think when that passion, do you see that passion going anytime soon? I mean, if, if guys start sucking at wrestling, then absolutely. Yeah. I'm not going to show up. I'm not. I've seen the best wrestling on earth. So basically, since I was 17 years old, I've pursued it. I've chased it down. Even before that, I was ordering VHSs off the internet of Japanese wrestling. I've been finding that magic in wrestling since day one, and I found it here, and uh, I don't see it disappearing. I don't see it dissipating. It's actually only increasing. There's more and more guys in the back that inspire me, and uh, there's a lot going on in this day and age, man. You better, but... <laughs> see, my Impact Wrestling, how has it been making the transition to that company? Yeah, so here's the thing. I'm not signed to anybody, really. I do my own thing. I'm completely freelance. I can work for any company on planet Earth at any time. I plan on keeping it that way. I mean, who likes having balls? Not me. <laughs> but who likes having goals and aspirations? Me. So sometimes you have to play in a system to do that. For me to get a chance to become X Division champion and, and face a guy like Loki, I have to be in impact. And you can't just show up and demand kind of like you gotta show up, you have to earn it, you have to demand it, and when they don't give it to you, you have to be known, you have to refuse to be ignored, and make that happen. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing in Impact. I think it's an unbelievable opportunity. I love that the British fans here can watch me on Impact. I know I felt like I was out of the loop with a lot of guys here, and now I'm coming back. And, uh, you know, if, when this airplane takes off, I hope everybody's on, buckled up, seats ready to go, because we're flying high. Well, I can't wait for that little too much, and uh, thanks, thanks so much for the blessing. Uh, thanks, man. And nice shirt, too, by the way.